we just left the falls and we're now going to find a little uh, pull off and spend the night up in the woods here. We got fortunate to uh, be able to make it down to the falls and back up, which is about a three mile round trip hike without uh, getting drenched. It only started to rain once we uh, eh, got probably about 500 feet from the bus. What's nice about these forest roads, they'll have these pull offs that you can roadside camp, but they're mainly for uh, motorists have an ability to get off the road if need be, plus also if you're passing or if you're uh, two opposing vehicles are coming. Gives you a little bit more room because sometimes these roads can be pretty narrow. And that's the thing about a bus when you're up on up on these type of roads in this type of area. God, that looks like a pretty cool spot. Well, it would be if it was dry. But uh, when you got almost a 40 foot bus, you can get yourself into trouble pretty quick. So we saw a couple spots that'll be up on our left where we'll be able to get off the road and there's enough gravel on the ground that we won't get stuck. And they're, ask, they're actually going to be facing downhill, which will uh, be good because it don't take much to spin out a vehicle even of this size. You just get a little bit of uh, sloppy mud on top with all this rain. So if you're, if you're backed into a spot and you're, those your vehicles up in the air, uh, it may not be able to uh, get enough traction to get out. So it's a lot to keep in mind when you're uh, playing around in the woods with a, uh, a bus. <laughs> 